Morning class, this is Tuesday, March 31st, uh, government class. Um, this is your lesson for today. Just want to encourage you guys, make sure you are going on and doing your lessons and quizzes every single day. Um, this is for a real grade, and if you do not do these um, lessons um, and quizzes for all the classes, you will fail and you'll have to go to summer school um, or make up the grades. Just want to encourage you to make sure you're doing it every single day. It's a lot easier to do it on a daily basis than to go and try to do it all at once. So just want to encourage you guys to make sure to keep up um, with your studies. So like I said, this is Tuesday, March 31st, government class. Um, we're going to review over some notes that we, that we went over yesterday. And then we're going to take some new notes. And then as soon as this is over, go over to your quiz um, from March 31st and take it there. So we're talking about state and local government, Roman number one, state government. So all of you live in Indiana, Illinois, this is the state seal for Indiana. This is the state seal for Illinois. Indiana State Capitol building, we talked about this. It houses the office of the governor, the Supreme Court. Um, it took eight years, $1.8 million to build in Indianapolis, which is the capital city of Indiana. Springfield, Illinois. This is the Illinois State Capitol building, holds the executive branch and the legislative branch. Played in the same year, took 20 years to build. Letter A, state constitution. So every state, we all know this, but all states have a constitution that governs the affairs of the state, much like, much like our U.S. Constitution does nation nationally. State constitution determines the structure and the financing for each state. Picture the original constitution of the state of Indiana. Indiana has had two constitutions, one in 1816 and another one that updated it in 1851. Uh, Constitution of Illinois, there's been four different constitutions of Illinois. Fourth, most current, was written in 1970. This is a picture of the Constitution of the state of Illinois. Average state constitution is four times as long, heavily amended, and much more specific than the United States Constitution. Obviously, the United States Constitution is much more broad to govern the 50 states, but each individual state uh, has a much longer constitution, four times on average longer. It's very much heavily amended, and it's much more specific to the affairs of that state. Here we have a map showing the word count um, for each um, constitution. So the darker the color, the more words or longer the constitution is. So Alabama, very long constitution, Texas, Wyoming, California. Here we have Massachusetts and now North Carolina. These are the state constitutions that have the most references to God in them. North Carolina with 10, Massachusetts with 12, the darker, same thing. Uh, have met much, many references to God in them. Okay, letter B, state government offices. Um, so what kind of government offices do we have on the state level? Governors, so all states have governors, just like all states have constitutions. Uh, gubernatorial terms are four years in every state, commonwealth and territory, except New Hampshire and Vermont, which have a two year term. So 48 of our states have the four year term, much like our presidential um, term limit nationally. Um, of course, it's not called presidential, it is called gubernatorial term. Uh, but the gubernatorial, gubernatorial term in 48 of our states is a four year term. Two of our states, New Hampshire and Vermont, have a two year term. Eric Holcomb, this is the governor of the state of Indiana, became the governor in 2017 after Mike Pence left to become the vice president. J.B. Pritzker, governor of Illinois, he became the governor in 2019. So governor elections or gubernatorial elections are done in a two-part format. So first you have the primaries, which each political party selects a candidate. Um, then you have the general election, uh, which those two candidates run against each other. Now the general election for the gubernatorial elections are done by popular vote, which is not the case um, for our national election. National election it is done with the electoral college, but Gubernatorial elections, each state is done by the popular vote, which means whoever votes, whoever gets the most votes out of that state, one more person votes for one candidate than the other, then that person becomes the governor. Elections, as we know, for governors are called gubernatorial elections. Here we have a map of the Republican governors in America are the red, Democratic are the blue, pretty much close to being split 50-50. Okay, number next, now we have new notes. Make sure you're taking, um, paying attention to these, writing them down if you need to for your quiz for today. 
So the governors run the executive branch of each state. So the president runs the executive branch uh, nationally. The governors run the executive branch um, statewide. So just like we, you know, we all know the three branches of government, we have a judicial, legislative, and executive that works nationally, and it also works on the state level. So the governor is the head of the executive branch for each state. Um, so his job is very similar to the president's, but on a state level instead of a national level. Approval of state budgets. So the governor has to approve the state budgets, how much they're gonna spend for that year. Um, they also can veto state legislator, legislation, um, and also they can enact state legislators. So recently, um, the governors have been enacting um, these different, um, these different uh, executive orders um, on a state level, different things like that, that's what the governor does. Um, they also can appoint the state judges. Um, much like the president does for the Supreme Court, the governors will appoint state judges, state Supreme Court judges. We have a chart on education and healthcare equals 70% of state budget. So this is for the state of Georgia. This is just an example of, of the state budget for the state of Georgia. This is from 2020. This is the projected budget. Um, so the governor will approve this budget. So shows here uh, how much of the pie goes through, um, goes to education, which is about 40%, it looks like, uh, goes to public schools and then healthcare, higher education, transportation, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that is a pie chart of the state budget. So when you have a job and you pay your state income taxes, um, also when you go buy something and you have a state sales tax, um, all of that money goes to be spent in the budget. And m most of the time, about half of it for each state goes to public education. So K through 12 public school system. So here's uh, another chart about the spending. This is from, from 2017, um, but of course this is in millions. The much darker um, is how is you know these states have spent way more than the lighter states. Indiana, 31 million or about 32 million um, or billion is what they spent in 2017, and Illinois, 68 billion. Um, so twice as much Illinois spent. Of course, there's a lot more people live in Illinois. Um, Number next. So here we have a couple more charts. This is the Indiana state budget for 2013. So much like Georgia's, 52% though is spent on uh, public schools. 5% um, is spent on public safety. So that's your fire and police department. Um, shows the rest there. Um, same thing here. So I know it's hard to see, but with this uh, bar graph here, this is for 2016 state of Indiana. Uh, six percent the state income was spent on the roads and the highways. Um, another six percent was sent on was spent on police and correction facilities. So all the jails, all the police departments are only getting six percent of our income. Um, and twenty one percent here is spent on um, public education. So public schools get a huge portion of the money that is spent uh, when you pay your sales tax and your state income tax and your property. Uh, we won't go over this. Okay, all right, that is your lesson for today. Go over to March 31st quiz, take the quiz there, and uh, we'll pick this back up on tomorrow. Thank you.